Good morning. Uh, um, thank you that you are coming to this uh, session. Uh, uh, we have one hour of trying to cram a lot of stuff uh, in. First, uh, let's uh, thank uh, to our sponsors and uh, uh, then uh, uh, to move on with the slides. Uh, hmm, yeah. Uh, uh, let me introduce myself. I'm Katalin Georgi. I'm coming from Romania. It's my second time on SQL Day. It's a wonderful uh, conference uh, organized by Data Community. I'm uh, very sad that I'm not in Wroclaw, and I I'm doing it remotely. Uh, for uh, from the year 2011, each year uh, uh, Microsoft awarded me the title of uh, uh, most valuable professional. My specialities are um, around IoT. It's um, uh, Windows development and uh, Microsoft Azure. So um, this is uh, where they put IoT these days, um, uh, mostly. Also, I'm a current holder of the uh, Microsoft Certified Trainer uh, um, certification. And uh, uh, for the last, I believe, two years, uh, uh, Intel awarded me the title of Intel Software Innovator. So um, today we're gonna, um, okay, um, about the setup. You will see that I'm, I'm uh, twice in uh, the attendee list. I'm once a presenter and I have a screen check on my phone. Sometimes you see me with some papers. This I have the um, list of and the times uh, when I hit near to hit uh, some uh, milestones. And I do not remember some words. Do not worry, I won't, I won't try to speak Polish, <laughs> but uh, there are some, some words um, um, that I, from the um, artificial intelligence lingo that I, I do not ever get around. So I, I need a, a small reminder. Um, for whom is this presentation? Uh, it's not that much for a, a, a database developer. It's um, okay, uh, it's somebody who wants to start with uh, computer vision uh, do not know how uh, how to do it. And uh, okay, uh, we'll show you the ropes. We'll give you some ideas. If you know this stuff, we'll show you something interesting. Still, still there will be something for you. Uh, what is the story? The whole story. What what started this presentation? So we had the real world uh, project. The Romanians are in Europe still the workers. It's, it's the, the place when you want to do manufacturing. But the Romanians are not the Germans of uh, doing manufacturing. So the story is that they need to put six screws on something of a special kind. And they discover it, that to number six screws or to get the right one was a huge problem. So they call us. And the idea was, okay, first, uh, um, the common approach until, let's say, two or three years was to use a weight counter and see how much the screws weight and go for, for, from this. But, uh, okay, uh, first, this problem has, uh, this has a problem. There is a problem of processor cycle. Um, here you have the difference in weight at the, the uh, lowest dec decimal. So you need a lot of approximation. So that takes processor cycles on the hardware that, that we make. And uh, it's slow. Second, you can have more, uh, more combination of screws that have the same weight. Our approach, let's take a camera and use artificial intelligence, computer vision, to get all this around, to understand, um, to see how many screws are, if they are the right one. So we started from zero. We said, okay, let's see what's, what's around. And uh, let's test all the methods. We, for this, we have created the test trick. So it's a Raspberry Pi, it has network, it's Raspberry Pi 3, and it has the Raspberry Pi 3 camera. And we look all over the net, and we start, start trying stuff. This is the test trick that we use to uh, compare all the stuff. So now, now I'm going to uh, change the sharing. I'm uh, uh, going to show you, let's say, a poster. <laughs> um, strange enough. Okay, let's go to screen. 
um, you will see all. So, um, first, to understand what uh, uh, some terms from the computer vision. Um, I'm using this this website. They make a tool that uh, makes all this stuff simpler. Uh, I didn't. We did not use this tool, but has very nice pictures, um, and uh, um, very nice pictures explaining stuff. For example, classification localization. Classification means that you know that that is L. Localization means that know you where it is. When you have multiple objects. Uh, detection means that you detect all the elements that are in the picture and segmentation where they are really. Uh, we, we needed to do a detection and count. That, that was the, the, the stuff that we, we wanted to, um, uh, to do. Uh, first, we look to TensorFlow. TensorFlow is a library, it's for, from Google, it's a format. Uh, we try to um, to run this on Raspberry Pi. So yeah, you can run it. You can run it by uh, um, uh, install a pip package. I said almost all the stuff that we're going to talk, it's it's uh, targeting uh, Raspbian or a Linux version. Windows IoT Core, uh, uh, not that much. Um, there, there are, uh, OK, uh, you won't hear about uh, uh, Windows uh, on uh, small devices on, on this presentation. So, so we run this, it worked. Uh, when, we, when we look around this, uh, this topic, we discovered that we are not uh, uh, alone. So there are some people who did the, 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 uh, this stuff. This is a company from Slovenia. Uh, so what they are doing, um, their specialities is how to use the Raspbian platform in very strange uh, and demanding environments. And they have uh, what is really their speciality. They understood what are the parts who fail from the off-the-shelf components and how, uh, how to use them not to fail. For example, for Raspberry Pi, it's, um, um, they discovered that write operation on the SD card are destroying the card if there are adverse temperatures. So they are not using write op, uh, read read write operation. They are using just write, uh, read. So what is doing this platform? It's going to the south pole. Usually at my presentation I give chocolates. Is the question is on what pole they are uh, doing this? There is a box with an uh, um, uh, solar panel which uh, has a Raspberry Pi. It's not. Uh, this is the big one. It has a Raspberry Pi Zero and exactly this camera. Um, as a hint, this is the best camera. Even if you have a better, uh, for example, I'm using HD camera for this presentation. Um, it's not better than uh, for this application. The uh, Raspberry Pi camera is the best. Strange enough, I do not know why, but usually we, we get the best results with that. Okay, it wakes up once a day, takes a picture, counts all the penguins, and send this to uh, let me double check, uh, Lacuna, hmm? Lacuna Space Loravan, Space Gateway Satellite Network. What in the earth is that? Uh, first, le let me start you with Loravan. Loravan is a combination, it's an, uh, um, let's say, poor man Wi-Fi. It's, uh, it's an uh, access point that you put in a forest that will have a battery for six years, and it has some very slow communication, but you, you still have the communication. On this, it exists a network of satellites that offer you LoRaWAN coverage. So this is the Lacuna, uh, Lacuna Space LoRaWAN. So essentially what this did, did for us, it validates our idea on, um, okay, how to do stuff. So they were able to do it through they move it to the absolute extremes. Uh, we wanted uh, something much more, anyhow, cheaper, uh, repeatable. Uh, we, uh, we do not want to spend that, that much time trying to optimize Raspberry Pi. Uh, so, oh, oh, um, 
we found different ways of running stuff on Raspberry Pi. Well, again, we compared them all, we run it. We found out the library to count objects. It was important uh, to us. So we need, we need to count uh, objects. We need, we uh, found it. And we understood which are the steps that we, we need, that we need to, uh, to have and run. And uh, somehow we, we uh, try to understand what we can run on-prem, what we can run on edge, what we can run in cloud. So again, we're going to the, that side that we have used at the beginning. This is from the, that side. So first, you need to have a lot of pictures. Uh, I will get back if you process a bit the pictures. When I will tell you about the adventure when we put this on, uh, uh, in production, uh, you'll get better results. Um, I believe that we'll have a co-presenter, uh, a cat from, uh, yeah. Uh, you had uh, see the presentation of Mikhail Mate Mateev. He sent this terrorist cat uh, uh, to me. He said, you need a cat, a terrorist one. Uh, and he loves to tear, tear apart demos. So second, you need to annotate the Im images. The system, not uh, the cloud or something does not know what you are looking for. Then you need to do some pre-processing and training the model. So essentially you are trying to, uh, to a piece of software and hardware. All the uh, pictures with the information, the annotation, and you get the model. Uh, uh, here uh, the, the rule of the thumb is uh, if you have more, more pictures, you have better results. Uh, usually, um, this is something that you can do also in cloud, because in cloud you can have a lot of resources. If you're doing on-prem, it's, it's not that, uh, you, you are limited to the resources that you have. Okay, you have the model. Now you throw new pictures at that, that model, and the model will give you probabilities. It will never tell you that uh, you have a six, um, one screw of the right kind, we said you have 80% probability that you have the screw of the right kind. Uh, and sometimes you can throw back into uh, uh, retraining the model of uh, these pictures. So um, this is the process of labeling. So uh, you have a tool, you get all your pictures, you get uh, somebody uh, of uh, uh, draw rectangle, rectangles and tell you what's what's there. It's not a nice uh, stuff to uh, to do. Um, you start swearing a lot. Okay, um, we are lazy and we're from Romania. Uh, if you are lazy and if you have money, as far as I remember, Amazon offers you a service of labeling. Uh, it's, uh, uh, as far as I know, yet again, take it with a grain of salt about the details. The service exists. Um, they have people who uh, take the images and do, do the operation for you. I believe that you pay them by e uh, image. So uh, essentially, you have some ways around it. Uh, here, uh, we, uh, we really hated uh, this, uh, this tool. So uh, we, we use something else. We use something from Microsoft, the custom vision uh, project. So, uh, okay, um, you can play with it. They can do a lot more than, than this. Use it just for, uh, uh, just for labeling at, at this uh, uh, stage. I would say um, here, it, we're talking about our experience. Uh, you can do all this stuff in a different way. Um, now let, let's try to do a new project here. Here you need to have an Azure account. Um, uh, I suppose that you hear it all over the conference that you can get 200 uh, US dollars uh, Azure credits for free. So uh, you can register for, for this and you have $200 for one month, whichever expires first. So if you want to try, you do not need to, to pay any money. And uh, because I believe that um, and also, I believe in Poland, you do not uh, even need to show your credit card. Um, I say in Romania, you need to show it. Uh, what they are doing in your credit card, if you need it, 
they take and put back one dollar without the taxes and anything uh, just to check the card they will never charge your credit card um, only if you are running out of money they will tell you okay you want to continue we're gonna charge you do you agree yes no uh, also resources is yes, um, some of the resources that you create remain active uh, active you can see them for one year but you cannot use them in work so let's let's do a project um, let's say sql day uh, you, you see the last time when i uh, been around uh, this presentation so uh, let's see 220 uh, pandemic uh, edition Let's see. Uh, uh, about uh, resources, resource, um, resource okay, groups and especially resource group. Um, think them as, as a basket. Uh, there are logical grouping of stuff that you can delete later. For example, in this uh, case, our, our um, I'm I'm ah, I need uh, to select the subscription. Um, and then I want I will create uh, let's see um, I get an error message that I do not have access to uh, and I also know why because I do not know um, okay I need to change the directory, and I have okay. I will I'll try my luck. Uh, just it is. It's very strange that. Uh, uh, this, this is uh, generally a very simple demo because you just create the, the stuff and you go uh, um, go uh, through clicks. So, right there, the subscription is pay as you go. So, let's create a group uh, and here I do not care where I created uh, so yeah, it seems that we're gonna skip that. Uh, or let's be. Uh, uh, okay, I can try it in a new incognito window to be to be sure that I'm connected to my subscription. That's a, okay. Um, uh, as you have seen, I have a pretty strange uh, setup in Azure because I'm working with Azure Sphere and the first version was highly, uh, let's say, uh, demanding on, on this uh, to have a, a special tenant and so on. And let's see if we are now lucky. Okay, I agree. Oh, switch directory. It was right on the. Uh, okay.
and if now it's not working, um, we'll try this uh, if we have now. Um, it, it, it's a mess with my uh, Azure account. You can try it by yourself, it will work. And also, this is the, not the most important part that I'm, I'm going to show you. And this is why I'm not going to push uh, uh, trying to show, show you this. I'm still it's pissing me off. And it's very strange that I see a uh, uh, folder from Mikhail. But, uh, okay. Um, this because it was the simplest part i really did not uh, test before uh, beforehand i'm sorry about this but again i encourage you you to try it uh, for you it will work because if you have a simple azure setup uh, everything will work uh, hunky dory uh so we can do uh we can run these cognitive services on Azure IoT Edge. Uh, what in the earth is Azure IoT Edge? Um, and w why, uh, uh, why we're talking about Edge? Edge, uh, Microsoft uh, think that from feedback from customers that not all the stuff you need to run to, to big Azure. Uh, their, their example were oil wells because oil wells they have some uh, some internet connection but it's uh, it's it's in the bits not in not even in kilobytes connection so what they say okay let's run this somewhere on the premise somewhere or sometimes uh, you do not have um, enough powerful devices to able to digest to do all the cryptography uh, for uh, connecting to Azure. Uh, an example, it's uh, Arduino devices. Yes, I've seen uh, them connected to Azure, but it's suboptimal because they do not have the processing power. So what, is, uh, what uh, Microsoft had in mind with this? Say, so, okay, let's move some parts from uh, our Azure in Kubernetes. No, sorry, Docker in docker and uh, push this docker uh, uh, these docker containers on some device that that can run them okay this is not your uh, usual uh, normal docker containers they are smaller they are not running in gigabytes size they are running in hundreds of uh, megabytes so you need to run this you need a uh, uh, container with the Azure IoT Hub, and you need a container which uh, has some functionality that uh, do the communication between containers. And then you can push your containers with your logic. For example, cognitive services. And strange enough, it works on this. You won't believe it, but it works. Again, it's Linux containers on Raspbian, but it works. Uh, how good? It was good enough. So uh, it, it's, it's, it's an idea. And again, uh, look at uh, Docker and Kubernetes because uh, uh, looking at Ignite, I've seen that um, there are a lot of services who are getting back on prem. Because uh, most probably the, there is feedback from customers that we do not want everything to, to have in Azure. So uh, for Microsoft, the simplest way to uh, to uh, allow you to run on prem was to take um, to take some components and running in 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 this okay what's what's the problem with uh, iot edge um yeah, azure iot edge uh, when it was first sol uh, sold it was okay it was the solution for you not to uh, uh, move gigabytes but uh, um, on very slow networks. Um, but uh, for the example with the oil wells, um, as you gathered, you need at least three containers. This is, this is, this is at, at least one gigabyte. So uh, when you deploy them first time or something, you should uh, really go with the stick. 
in the rest okay uh, if you are past this yes it will work it also can work uh, uh, pretty disconnected does not have a, a lot of communication this kind of approach has the plus the running cognitive services you can retrain the model with uh, with new images from the field it's not disconnected you have a uh, set in stone model and you, you are pushing images ag uh, against it so uh, Again, we have uh, took these steps, and we we are able to to do it. Let's say we are pretty boring. We do the same stuff several times. Uh, so uh, we got to some toys, and here we um, on this part I put uh, let's say the the most made because the, there is something interesting here. And uh, here will be, um, let's say, uh, interesting uh, demos. Uh, let's start the story from um, Adam, Adam and Eve. Uh, so this is a uh, uh, neural accelerator. It was made by a company from my hometown. And they were got bought by Intel. We'll see how, how good it is. But uh, let's, let's get to the bigger story. Uh, Intel, uh, um, OK, let's show you again a slide. Uh, where it is so this one uh, they invented something like open wino and here I, I need I, I need to look I never remember what it's uh, wino open visual in inference and neural network optimization uh, what what is their uh, value proposition the value proposition is uh, in uh, uh, this way you have a lot of models out there you have TensorFlow, you have coffee, you have, uh, I don't, do not remember all, I need, I need to look. Uh, Apache MX Next, and there are still new model formats each and every month. Also, you have a lot of hardware. For each hardware, you need to do different stuff. So what if we do something that you do not need to do this? Okay, so you take any model, you take it to, uh, to model optimizer, you get an intermediate representation, and you run it on the same C++ or uh, Python API. And we take care of all the rest. Uh, also, to add something more into the, into the mix, uh, if you are looking for, let's say, number plate recognition models, we have a model zoo. You have models that are pre-trained, you just to take them and run them. Okay, it sounds nice. It's, uh, I would say, I, I, we love the idea. It was uh, wonderful. I'm not sure about the execution. Uh, we'll see, time will show with the corporation, it's, it's very hard. Uh, um, let's say, uh, uh, these days I, I try to uh, breathe some life in the old uh, uh, Lumion 920. It was a nice idea. <laughs> and it winter down. Okay, let's try to explain this and we'll, we'll run a, a demo. Uh, in fact, a couple of demos on this. We run it on a CPU and we run it on a, um, Intel Neural Stick or a 2. This is version 2. Uh, the first version, uh, the Movidius one, does not know about Open Wine. Uh, okay, first, what is doing the model optimizer? It's uh, um, translating the model into an intermediate uh, uh, representation. Also, it's doing internal uh, uh, optimization, which are a threefold. Uh, it, um, let, let me double check them. Uh, so, It's optimizing uh, with using a fusion of layers. This is the, the first one. Bechamelization. This is a word that I never got around. It, it, the first optimization at the level of the model. The second, it, uh, at the network level. Um, it do, does the rearrangement of the data. The third optimization, it works in the memory. How, how it, all the stuff is in the memory and also works with the weight. After all this, on the intermediate model, 
uh, you are doing hardware optimization. Uh, depends on how the floating or integer types, um, in fact, integer in the model, uh, are represented. Some, uh, some hardware has an integer 16, integer 32. There are a lot of variation, and they take everything into, into the account. Uh, so, um, I uh, modify, um, um, okay, one of the examples which is security barrier demo. I put them more, uh, more pictures. Uh, this is uh, one model from the zoo. So they essentially it uh, wants to uh, uh, recognize a car and read the number plate. Okay, we'll, we'll see what's, what's the caveat with this model. Um, you, let's just say, run it. Uh, I hope that the antivirus won't pop up. So um, the, uh, what is doing the sample? It's getting the model from the uh, model zoo. It's uh, compiling everything. They're creating behind the solution, a Visual Studio solution, and uh, they're running it. So, um, and also they tell you a uh, frame per second. And now I'm running this demo for CPU. Uh, the laptop on which uh, the presentation is running, it's an uh, i5. It's not the first generation, but it's uh, uh, not the la last also. Uh, you see more videos because this is uh, w where I started to modify uh, all the, uh, the folders. Now it's running from C uh, for a CPU. Uh, you'll see it after the it, it takes the, the uh, finish the compilation. I'll say um, not to uh, lose time. What uh, what is my biggest complaint uh, to Intel? It's that uh, okay, the demos are pretty nice to try, uh, but um, uh, trying to use in, uh, in the production it's uh, uh, it's uh, an uphill battle. It's uh, pretty uh, hard to understand what they are doing and how to translate this to using your application. But it works, and it works su surprisingly well. Okay, you see here, uh, it's, um, so, um, it's showing uh, down here that you are, you are using, uh, using, in, uh, um, using CPU, CPU plugin. So you see it's a black car, and you have something like uh, uh, six frames per second. I need to close it. Um, so um, we'll, we'll try all the pictures. So uh, here it has a better frame rate. It detects something, but it does not know what it is. And so on and uh, so forth. Here, uh, it does not detect nothing. And uh, here again, uh, you see the uh, frame from uh, for a second, it's, it's increasing a bit. Here it detects not the car, but the uh, plate number. And you ask yourself, why in the earth I'm, I'm taking these pictures? Uh, because these uh, certainly are uh, pictures from the internet. Uh, and this is the last one. It takes uh, uh, something like a van someplace. Uh, because uh, one of the problem with uh, this demo, it was train with uh, uh, um, Chinese car. And Chinese uh, car have blue number plate. So if we try with European number plates, usually most of them are white. So you'll, uh, this is the limitation with the zoom model. You need to look for a better model. Okay, so let's, let's try with this. Again, this can, uh, I've seen I've done something stupid uh, because I put the camera on the port, which is the most accessible for, for this. But, okay, I was able to plug it in. So, I hope that I'm getting this right. We'll, we'll see uh, 
quite fast. Let's remember that the first uh, sample uh, was uh, for uh, um, frame rate was 6.9, something like this, so 5.9. Uh, and now again, we will see uh, in, the, in this where it's uh, running the uh, the model. If it's running on CPU or if it's running on uh, Myriad, Myriad, which is uh, Intel Neural Stick. Again, the optimization, all the differences are done somewhere inside the open vinyl. Usually when you are, uh, programming against it, you won't see any difference. You just change a parameter and they will do all the stuff internally. So, and uh, um, now it's again compiling. I, I did not want to change too much the, the sample uh, because Open vinyl, okay, it's free to try. You can try it on CPU. You can try it on GPU. I cannot try it on this laptop on GPU because it's it's a very strange configuration. It has uh, two graphic graphic boards and does not know. As you see here, it's loading uh, to Myriad. If you, this means that uh, it's um, it's running on uh, the neural stick on what I showed you before. So let's see the results. Uh, you see it, 21.0 frame per second. Uh, I believe that it's, it's, a, it's a huge difference. And in general, uh, this uh, uh, neural stick, it's far, far faster. And if you put it on something like this, you have something like a rocket. The downside is that uh, I, I'm not sure how much, it's something in the 100 euros uh, price range, uh, more or less. Uh, uh, and again, as a plus or something, uh, you can run several, uh, for example, you can put in Raspberry Pi a couple of uh, 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 neural sticks and uh, run them in parallel. Um, what is not helping you, uh, it's not helping you with uh, uh, learning. So this is just, uh, you know, the detection. Uh, let us look uh, uh, at the detection classification, uh, the stuff that we talked uh, before. This is where it's really powerful. So, yeah, um, let's go. Uh, oh, we'll look at the uh, last one. What what it it says? Uh, you see that uh, the detection results are the same. So uh, the only big difference is the speed. So here it's it's far far faster, far far much much power, but you have still have a consistent results uh, irreverent if you're using uh, uh, CPU or uh, uh, Intel neural stick. So this will be the last one and then we'll uh, uh, show side by side, uh, you know, with stick and without stick. We can do this just by uh, changing the uh, um, parameters in the command line. So uh, we love this idea. It's, um, it's something that uh, if we'll have a more complex solution than counting screws, we, we really uh, look. Uh, also, uh, as far as I know, um, um, Intel Neural Stick, again running with OpenVINO, it's uh, now in space. There is a, let, let's try again without, uh, okay, um, camera. Um, 
it's um, it's on a satellite uh, doing some uh, Earth uh, observation. I'll say the um, the director uh, of uh, the local company who built this. Uh, now it was in the press because it become um, uh, advisor to the mayor. So again, and the story went up. So um, now we want to compare the uh, frame per second and we will run it several times the first demo. So uh, we won't uh, lose the, that much time. Just just the first picture and we'll uh, stop the demo and we'll write again with and without uh, a myriad to see the difference. Myriad the uh, command line parameter. Um, this meaning uh, on CPU or on uh, Intel neural stick. Uh, let me check which other are options do you have besides GPU? Uh, this is that it is. Uh, in the in the file itself, uh, you have all, all the options. I did not remember uh, what is the command line switch for uh, Intel neural stick. So we have 6.9 frame per second. Okay, and then we stop it. Control C, yes, and we run it again. Again, uh, we'll have something in the. There is here a normalization. Sometimes, depending on the loading of the processor or the memory composition, you get better results. Sometimes. Uh, we are running twice and each to get a normalization to see how much is, is the difference. OK, uh, the option was uh, we have at the end uh, some uh, graphicons which show you uh, the difference, but I believe that they are, uh, let's say, dry. Here you see, you see it in uh, running on, let's say, more or less ideal example, side by side uh, uh, this one. Again, what I must emphasize, you get the same results. The only big difference is the speed. So essentially, you are absolutely sure that uh, changing the hardware below and uh, the modification to inter intermediate uh, uh, representation and the optimization done for the specific hardware does not change the behavior of the model, which is again wonderful. The only stuff it's um, okay, so 8.0 still. And uh, now we're gonna try it twice on the uh, uh, so with Myriad. Uh, Myriad is the name of a, a neural processor installed in um, um, Intel neural stick. Now, I'm always thinking not to, to call it Intel Movidius. Okay, the, uh, why I remember, because Movidius was a, a startup that was in my town, it was bought, and I know them from before. Uh, okay, the first version, I said, uh, if you are looking to buy, if you are buying the first version, you won't have the support for Open Vino. Only the second version has the support for Open Vino. Open Vino is the stuff that really lets you throw any, any format of the model at uh, literally any hardware from Intel. This is the Kavit. So, and again, this works only for inference, does not work for learning. So, uh, let's say this uh, approach to computer vision, uh, I should do the learning someplace when I have the processing power, which is mean, most probably I will do it on cloud. Uh, sometimes I will use for inference, I will use IoT Edge, Azure IoT Edge. Sometimes I will use this. Again, it depends on the solution. You know, here you have more way of cook, cooking the turkey. Still, you get the cooked turkey. So now you see it's a loading uh, device myriad. It's not a loading CPU. And the last where uh, you see it's something 
last the results was uh, eight uh, frames per second. Here you have 20.6. So it's it's beating uh, uh, i5 processor pretty uh, pretty consistently. So let's run it yet again and then uh, to move on. Because we have um, some, um, let's say, to round up, uh, to tell you uh, what will be our experience from the field. Because uh, uh, in the end, we did this for a customer. Also, it was fun to learn, uh, let's say, uh, and to, to play on all these devices. Uh, and again, as, as funny enough, I ask um, full disclosure. I ask uh, um, Intel Neural Stick for evaluation from the local company, and uh, they said that they cannot give me. Um, they have no no uh, device available, not even engineering model. Uh, they also they do not have time. Uh, strangely enough, I'm um, as far as I know the only one doing presentation mentioning that their uh, hardware because they are uh, working. And I got one from Intel. So, yeah. Intel in the US with the, again, the strange uh, question of the custom, what's that? A memory stick? Yes, it's a memory stick, if you want it. How much it costs? And uh, so on and so forth. So, 40, uh, Point 0.7, it's a bit uh, slower, but still faster than uh, CPU. So let's kill this and move forward. And let's see what we have uh, more about slides goes. Yeah, here um, we follow all these steps and we run it on um, Raspberry Pi. It works, just works. Uh, and these are the benchmarks, but okay. Uh, hmm, how how should we do it? Let's let's uh, first uh, talk about benchmarks. Benchmarks show you that uh, how much you spend, how better results you get. Again, uh, um, we have used um, here. You see the Huckster. Um, uh, our BERM benchmarks were pretty much consistent with this. Uh, they did, uh, they have one device more. They have um, uh, the Coral from NVIDIA. And also they uh, did it uh, much nicer than uh, our calculation. So, and also they have a uh, older device. So uh, this is why we, we, we show uh, this one. The results are pretty much uh, consistent. If you want, uh, also, they have Jetson Nano, have a, a lot of uh, um, different devices. Again, they are running around this Raspberry Pi. They are uh, running it on Raspberry Pi 4, which has much more uh, performance. So, um, uh, not much more. It has better performance. Still, uh, it looks uh, better what they did on the site. We can confirm we get the, the same results on similar hardware. So we have enough similar results on uh, uh, hardware. The rule of the thumb, if you need performance, you need to invest a bit more. So, uh, okay, um, a hardware accelerator, like I show you, um, like uh, Intel Neural Stick will really help. But um, it's, it's uh, it's then a question of the price point because uh, you know uh, this one costs that much, and uh, I said it's it's in the 100 euros bracket, more or less depends uh, where you buy it. And again, also the Nvidia ones. And Nvidia, I'm still trying to get my my hands uh, on it, and uh, but. Uh, 
it's it's um, I, I still did not have get uh, my hands on it to, to try it. Uh, okay. Also, you need to think about your application. Sometimes um, uh, you do not uh, need to process live pictures. Sometimes you just process the pictures. Uh, sometimes you control the environment, the lightning, you control all the details and uh, uh, you do not need that much inference uh, performance. Um, so a PC will, okay, uh, I'm seeing that I'm, I'm still having the download of the meeting here and it's blocking them. We get rid of it. Uh, so um sometimes uh, it will uh, um work only on raspberry pi or in our case will work uh, on a uh, 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 pc so essentially this is what uh, what at the end we did we uh, did um we uh, uh run ml.net on a computer. That was good enough because anyhow, they had the computer already there. So we run ML.net. Uh, we took also the weight measurements. And with all this, we we're able to aggregate a pretty decent picture of uh, uh, how many screws uh, are there. Uh, we still we did not get to get the uh, latest decimal. Also, we control quite well the uh, the lightning and all the stuff. But still, it wasn't a smooth uh, smooth sailing. Uh, again, the Romanians are are the greatest workers in the world. You uh, tell them that uh, when you are doing screws, you should not uh, exceed these temperatures. And they, of course, will obey this, not. So we had a problem with bluing. Some of the screws uh, were very blue because they are processed at the wrong temperatures. Okay, for, for the application does not matter. We're not building, the, our customer is not yet building planes and they are still uh, passing the quality, uh, quality procedures and all the stuff, but they were blue and our model went nuts. And as I said before, uh, sometimes you need to do a pro uh, some processing. Uh, if we did know this, we needed to take black and white pictures. Because here we put an, a color element, same like the model zoo number plates. If they are black and white, the model won't look for blue to detect uh, number plate, like, like the number plates in China. So sometimes this will really say some preprocess. Okay, because we are Romanians and we are lazy, our solution was just take much more pictures. So we took much more pictures uh, uh, with uh, screws, blued, red, and all the, all the possible colors and get them and retrain the model push the model again and see what's happening. At that the end, uh, there is, uh, okay, peace at last. We are able to estimate correctly how much screws are there. Okay, again, we, um, our probability uh, threshold, uh, we put it uh, above 80, 85. So for screws, yeah, you, you need to have, um, um, six screws with a probability of more than 85 uh, uh, given from the model. So that was it. Um, we learn a lot. Uh, we are, uh, let's say, uh, our colleagues uh, have set up a um, um, hardware manufacturing shop uh, in town, and now we're, try uh, we're using uh, uh, a Raspberry Pi to open the uh, barrier when we are getting to to work, and uh, where, where we train uh, our model 
uh, again, we, we did not uh, use um, neither of uh, the fancy, um, something like this. We use a Raspberry Pi and we uh, put it on a, a, a post near the barrier to open the barrier when, when we got there. So uh, essentially we, we got a new tool. What's the, the takeaway from this presentation? Do not, uh, artificial intelligence that, uh, does not mean that you need a, a, a PhD to do it. Can be a differentiator. You can do much better job in a very comparable price. You just need a bit uh, to learn. And you can do a lot of stuff. Uh, we did from very simple to very complex. It's not, uh, okay, uh, again, the GIGO rules apply. If you are getting uh, wrong data for training, uh, lousy data for training the model, you get the lousy results. And you have a lot of way of doing it. You have it, each big company has some investment into it and you can mix and match them to do the best. And it's okay, and uh, to uh, round up before, let's say the uh, three minutes or, or something for rounding up on questions, uh, the price of the solution uh, that we give for the screws was, let's say, don't suppose that it was something like 10 to 15% uh, bigger than it was just the weight counter. And the customer has a 99% reliability of the solution. So we have a very, very satisfied customer. We did not overcharge them. For us, it was fun. We get a new tool, look around it. So um, with this, uh, okay, I, I will get to the nice uh, slide here, which was before. Uh, <laughs> And uh, okay, um, and I'm open for a question if you have any, I'm trying to uh, get the, no, um, I'm, st I'm still a lost a bit in Zoom. Let's stop share and try to see the Q&A if there are any. So um, I'm, I'm here uh, for, um, question, let's say for a minute more, also you can find me. I really do hope that uh, next year uh, we'll be in person in Wroclaw and uh, meet with you and I'll sh show you the toys uh, really nearby because this uh, canned uh, presentation and I'll to give you chocolates because all, it's always um, let's say interesting uh, to have an interactive session. And also you'll uh, remember where are the penguins, always on the South Pole. Uh, so we have one minute more. Uh, any questions? Still. Um, I would say uh, you see my email. Uh, I believe that uh, so the organ organizer can uh, give you a way to connect with me if you have questions. And uh, I believe that this will be the last sentence. Uh, please try. Artificial intelligence, especially computer vision. What, well, I've shown you computer vision. It's not a uh, scary thing. It's um, just a uh, one step and you when you understand what it's all about you can do a lot of interesting stuff so see okay i will um, yeah I'll write uh, my email let me double check oh, or uh, just just a second Ah, again on the presentation, uh, you have all the links that I use.
of I'm still fighting uh, just a second. Okay. Um, I will share the screen. It's, it's better this way. So um, this is the email from um, my user group. Um, I uh, will answer to it. So my time is up. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. I hope to see you next year.